Imagine this. It's 2026, and your dev salary just hit a quarter million dollars. But how did you get there? Was it with Spring Boot, or did .NET Core finally unlock that 250K potential? What if I told you one of these frameworks is quietly minting millionaires right now, while the other is slowly becoming the COBOL of the cloud era? Forget the Reddit fanboy wars. If you want that quarter million dollar salary next year, you don't need an opinion. You need the data. We've analyzed the job market, the cloud benchmarks, and the paycheck trends for 2026 to answer one question. Which stack puts you in in the 250k club spring boot or .NET core first let's talk volume if you just want a job who wins in 2026 java and spring boot are still the toyota camry of tech they're everywhere 90 percent of the fortune 500 still runs on legacy java if you want safety you pick spring boot the demand is massive because maintaining those billion dollar legacy monoliths requires an army of developers but .NET 10 isn't playing for second place anymore. Since going open source and cross-platform, it has devoured the greenfield market. That means new projects. Startups and modern enterprises love it because it's fast to write and easy to deploy. So round one goes to Spring Boot for safety and .NET for velocity. But you didn't click on this video for safe. You clicked for 250K. Here's the uncomfortable truth. To hit a quarter mil base salary, you usually need to be in big tech or high-frequency finance. Historically, big tech is a Java shop. Amazon, Google, Netflix, they run on the JVM. If your goal is Fang, Spring Boot is still your VIP ticket. However, the script is flipping in the enterprise world. We're seeing .NET architects in healthcare, fintech, and insurance commanding 200 to 300K now. Why? Because of Azure. Corporations are moving to Azure en masse. If you're a .NET Core expert who also knows Azure cloud architecture, your scarcity value just went through the roof. You're harder to find than a Java developer, and scarcity equals money. Here's the silent killer that will determine your future employment, cloud costs. In 2026, .NET Core is significantly lighter and faster than Spring Boot. Faster startup times, lower memory footprint. When you're running on serverless or Kubernetes, time equals money. CTOs know that running a massive Spring Boot microservices fleet costs more in AWS bills than the .NET equivalent. If you can walk into an interview and say, I can migrate your stack to .NET and cut your cloud bill by 30%, you effectively pay for your own salary. So, which one do you choose? Choose Spring Boot if you want to work at a FANG company, you love the vast ecosystem of open source libraries, and you don't mind a bit of configuration magic to get things working. The ceiling is high, but the competition is fierce. Choose .NET Core if you want the best developer experience, you want to work in high-end enterprise or fintech, and you want to ride the Azure wave. The market is less crowded and the pay for seniors is catching up fast. But here's the real secret. To get 250k, the language doesn't matter as much as the system design. Learn Kafka, learn Kubernetes, learn cloud architecture. A senior engineer solves coding problems, a staff engineer solves business problems. That's the difference between 150k and 250k. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it.